We're giving dawah today at the Sugarloaf Mountain and many many tourists from all over the world are here so we're going to be making dawah here and speaking to them. Ahmed is a member of Fambras. Uh, he is someone involved in Dawa. He's been involved in Dawa in Brazil for years. He's learned Portuguese. He's originally from uh, Egypt and uh, he's just a really, really helpful Da'i who's been with us on this ground for most of this mission. Uh, this man's fascinated that we're actually fasting. Uh, he's asking questions about you don't drink water, you don't eat, and he's really surprised that you know, uh, us fasting basically in this heat and I, I don't really think he's ever come across a Muslim before preaching to him before. We believe that the, it got changed over time because there's so many different versions ah, of the Bible. So the Catholics and the Ethiopians and each one has different number of books in the Bible. The group behind us is from Fambras, which is a local Dawa organization. Uh, they're here to give Dawa with us here at the Sugarloaf Mountain. Um, many of these people are actually reverts. And inshallah, these people are going to be helping us when we're coming across language barriers and speaking to people here. My name is Flavia and I revert for Islam uh, about three years ago. I, like, I love to make a dawah, I, I like to talk. I think it's so much necessary to talk about Islam for Brazilian people. It's, for me, it's the most necessary right now in dawah in Brazil is to make the people know what is Islam. So you yourself, what's your belief? What do you believe? I believe in God, but I don't have a religion. I try to study, understand, and uh, make a choice in the future. I don't uh, have a, any religion. Sure. What Islam teaches, what the goal of life is, is to worship the Creator. And everything that you do in life, yeah? You have many different things here. Education, health, children, love, fame. Whatever you do in life, if you have God at the forefront of your mind, mm -hmm. and you want to be a good person, you want to do things for God, that's worship. Even smiling, we believe in Islam is worship. Yeah? Worship's not just going to the church. Worship is everything you do. For example, you, you go here, you buy something from her. You buy something for her for you to eat, but also you're giving her money, mm -hmm. and you have the intention of helping her. That's worship. Yeah? And we've come across two people who used to be Catholic, they left Catholicism and just believe in God but don't believe in any religion. And I really do believe a lot of Brazilians are going to turn away from religion over time because Catholicism teaches that Jesus is God. And I believe unless Muslims are here calling people to Allah, then these people who just believe in God and don't believe in religion, they'll never hear the message of Islam. So it's really, really important for future Muslims to come here and to explain to people that there's another way besides Christianity. We're just outside here in a mosque in Rio de Janeiro. This mosque has loads and loads of reverts. They support the poorer Muslims in this area as well. And we're gonna go inside and see if we can get some interviews with these people. Um, and also we're gonna be having our iftar here, the first iftar in Brazil. I born as a Carlos in Honduras, Honduras, Latin America, Central America. I came from a very Catholic traditional family. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I became Muslim in Spain six years ago. So one day I was checking on internet my way, my flight back to Colombia because I was living in Colombia at that time and I was engaged to the Colombian lady. I was just checking internet the flight. My uncle called and said, "Okay, I'm going tonight to Granada. You wanna come with me?" And I knew something's gonna happen. I say, "Okay, yes." I just closed the computer and I took my backpack and I went with him to Granada. The, the next day was a Juma in a restaurant of his friend. I have an experience that I cannot even explain with words because it's, you know, and I was feeling like something was burning from my inside. And I heard someone calling me, come. And uh, in the end I thought I was, about, I was, I was gonna die, I was gonna pass away because I mean, maybe I was being a not good human being, I mean, not good behaving in life maybe. My interests were something different where the good path was. But Alhamdulillah, after that experience in that night, which I thought I was gonna die, I decided to have Islam in my life because I really feel like 
someone was loving me and that was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this most treasured treasure for my life Islam there is a uh, many things missing there is many families breaking there are many childs apart from their families doing things they are supposed not to be doing and we need to come back here into Dawa to put them together We were just speaking to a Riva brother who is a taxi driver and his son became Muslim, gave him da'wah and he became Muslim. It's amazing to see the number of Rivas in this mosque and just as we were speaking to him, another sister wanted to take Shahada, everybody went over there and one of the brothers said to me, it was such a normal thing. In the UK we'd be so surprised with the Shahada but here it seems almost normal that someone takes a Shahada. And the amazing thing is that she was even wearing a hijab before taking Shahada. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. La ilaha. La ilaha. It's really interesting to hear the stories of the reverts from Brazil and something which is quite weird about some of these stories is that some of the things seem very supernatural. So for example, the story of one of the brothers who heard a voice while he was watching TV telling him to go find out about Islam. Another person who felt the heat before taking Shahada. And likewise, I remember in the UK many years ago, I heard the story of a brother who said with his own eyes, he saw the moon split. And we can't deny that karamat happened, that miracles happened. And Allah spreads his deen with or without the Muslims. And it's amazing to see that he's doing his magnificent work here in Brazil.